Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to work on the golf again. We're going to do something I've been putting off for quite some time and that's the digital dash. So it's quite a tricky thing and someone messaged me last night and told me that they want to do a digital dash and they were going to do almost exactly everything I did on my golf but on a Honda. So it got me inspired and today I'm going to do it. I already cut out some piece of metal and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to install the digital dash. I'm just going to be using a tablet in place of a dash and I'm removing the old dash which was there and not really doing anything since I disconnected my speedo and RPM gauge driver. So basically just sits like this in the original dash cluster so it's behind there and it has these little holes on the sides where the dash originally screwed in, the cluster originally screws in. So what I'm planning on doing is just running that piece of metal sheet a piece of plate right in the, behind here, drill some holes in it, mount that and then use the plastic to hold the tablet in place. I might just use hot glue, I'm not sure yet, I think hot glue might come loose but in any case I might, I'll try and experiment, you guys can do whatever you like. So I'm planning on putting the tablet right there, use a different hand. So the idea is not to have it glare at me, so I'll we're tilting it down slightly just like that so I can still reach the power button if need be this is the view I'll have so you won't you won't be able to see the buttons unless you're looking at it from this angle but from where I'm sitting it will be pretty flush so I'm just using a piece of dashboard uh, cupboard the old um, I had an old dashboard so I'm just using that to Put this in since it fits in the tablet top to bottom quite easily it fits in over the tablet really tight I'll show you that and I'm planning on just screwing it in there trying to uh, kick it out in the bottom so it comes a little bit closer and I'll show you all that in the video the main problem is the power so Speedino the I mean uh, the real dash has a feature real dash being the app which you have to pay for if you want to use all the features so one of the features that it has that you don't have to pay for is it has the ability to restart the app every time you switch on the car every time the charger is plugged in so that's basically how i plan on doing it i'm using i'm going to try and use a bigger battery than what's in here because this battery is actually fried that was in here so i put this guy on and it's also still too small too low um, amp hours so I'm going to try and get a bigger amp hour battery to replace this with. I'm just going to mount the battery back there, out of this, out of sight, out of mind. I don't think I'll do plugs on it. I might do plugs on it actually. And I'm just going to charge it directly as it is. You obviously, if you have a better tablet, use that. Don't use this janky nonsense. Just plug it straight into the charging port. This guy still has a charging port, so I might try and use that and uh, see how that goes. Alright, so this is basically the plan. Cut this glove compartment and I just cut it up. <clears> that <throat> these nice edges. So I'm using those to rest the tablet on. I just have the wire for the big battery out the back. Make the hole right there and I'm gonna put this behind. Since this thing is not wide enough to actually use these holes, the original holes, I had to make this little plate. The plate goes behind there. I'm going to rivet the plate to the plastic. I think that'll look the best. I'm going to double sided tape the tablet onto the plastic. This is an old tablet. You can obviously see it's not that good looking, but it's pretty decent sized and it will work for my application. Since it doesn't need a lot of processing power to be able to run this, uh, this cheap tablet will work. I just need to be able to access the power button if I need that. I'm not even sure if I'll need to press the power button. And this is all experimental, so I'll see what I, what I come up with. Uh, the, the power, the, the charging port is over here, so I'll just run the wire in front of the plastic even though it won't look so nice. This basically covers all the open space around the dash, so hopefully that works. I just have to trim this edge up to make it fit around this metal plate. Let's do that. So we have it more or less finished. I riveted the plate onto the plastic. So let's see how it goes in and how it looks. This will be my first time seeing it too. I hope this looks decent. It's 
So obviously you can see it's tilted forward in perspective with the flat side of the dash. So that is to avoid glare and the reflection from the screen. So it should work. Most car dashes are a little bit slanted towards you. So that's it. It's in. Looks decent. Doesn't hit. I didn't even have to modify this. I thought I was going to have to cut it and somehow put the tablet on here. But that's not needed. I could tilt the screen forward just by bending the metal. You can see the whole screen top to bottom from the seat, which is above right here. But yeah, I think that looks good. There's something I just noticed is the viewing angle in this tablet. It's not that great. It doesn't look as crisp. And I just had an idea. I could use some of the scrap plastic and just overlap from the back of these edges to the front of the face. So I just snuck a little spacer back there and as you can see it's almost flush with the dash drum so that looks really nice i like that looks much better i can read everything quite clearly i can interact with it quite easily the, the fuel level has been quite a struggle i couldn't figure it quite figure it out initially the plan was just to have the fuel level be sent to the speedrino and as Arduino sent it to real dash and have an on dash fuel level gauge but I couldn't I couldn't figure that all out and after thinking about it I, I honestly don't know how to scale the fuel pump in um, real dash or scale it on Speedwino. so I decided just to use the original the original gauge from the fuel pump so it would still um, be scaled according to the resistance that the sender the fuel level sender sends. If someone is able to figure out how to program Speedwino to read variable resistances and be able to send that to Real Dash and to program Real Dash, you guys can hit up the comments and help out the fellow people in the community. It's plugged in in these pins over here with the nut right there on this cluster on my Volkswagen Mark 2 CE2 Central Electric 2. Have these two pins so one has to be a voltage source and one has to come from the tank and see the voltages because i know most of these clusters have these five volt regulators so the so the gauges might also just be five okay so this is the plan for the fuel gauge this is the original fuel gauge usually it sits right about there for the back so i just melted off a piece of plastic and bent it um probably used too much heat this is avs so maybe it's the best for this because it's easy to bend i would like that all i need now is the regulator and i found this little plug for the regulator this is the original this is the same regulator as the one that's on the mark ii and this is a pc header you use it on the pc power buttons and so on so i stripped it from there and that's three wires onto it one's going to 12 volt other one's going to ground I have my multimeter grounded right there. Precisely 10 volts. So I have the regulator connected. I'll just connect the regulator to the 12 volt supply on the switch, probably the ignition switch. And then I'll run this guy to the end of the gauge, which is right here. So the pin on the right is 12, is the 10 volt and the pin on the left comes from the pickup in the tank. Okay, so how are we gonna power this? So this is obviously something that needs 5 volts, 2000 amps. This is a 5 volt, 1500 milliamp charger. It's not 2 amps, but it's not 1 amp either. So 1.5 is fine. Uh, I think that will work. It will be a little bit slow. So we will need to charge it somehow. So that leads me to my other problem. This battery is not lasting as long as I would have hoped. Would have hoped at least like two three days on standby and right now you can see it's depleted so what i'm going to do is going to run a separate switch to charge it while the car is off all right so the whole package is about done looks quite messy but that's what it is usb micro usb charging cable little charger board over there 12 volt in 12 volt in i mean 12 volt and ground and then these two thin wires go to the regulator up top. The 10 volt regulator and the 10 volt regulator gives the 10 volts to the sensor. The sensor just needs its signal from the tank over here. And then these two wires can go to 12 volts switched. And that's it. There's my battery over there. Battery is on. Tablet's on the other side. I did end up 
pulling that little hole on the left as you can see and there's the gauge on the right so that will hole will show me when the ignition is on okay so just in the oh, blah, 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 blah. okay so just as the continuity on the gauge so on the cluster and i saw it was the seventh pin on the bottom so looking at this i'm looking for the seventh pin and just getting the wire from here and i'm going to splice into this wire and run it to the fuel gauge i have the fuel gauge set up you can see the fuel level in there Obviously, it's not back lit. I forgot about that. So you probably can't see that. Oh yeah, you can. It's about the same level as I left it. A little bit lower. Dash is in. Plug is in. So as you can see right now, the ignition is on. Boost gauge is on. And then I switch off the car. Gives that little screen. Shutting down. And then it goes out. So I obviously I can set the settings so that the screen dims. You see it's already dimmed. And obviously I can set it so it dims quicker and goes to sleep faster. Like that. So yeah, that's basically how it will function. Switch on the car. Little light goes on over there. But that is tablet is kinda this tablet's a little bit annoying because it keeps giving me this prompt to allow the device or the app to access bunch of stuff maybe someone can tell me if i can remove that probably can i just have to look into it in any case so that's my ignition on light and it's also the charging light so when that's on the real dash is on all right so i'm basically done final thoughts i have to give on this is i need a second charger to keep this tablet running from the car battery while the ignition is off because right now i can't just keep the ignition on charging it because that would keep the AFR gauge on and that would burn out the sensor so I can't really I don't want to do that I don't want to burn out the sensor so I'll just um, get a second charger and wire it parallel to this one but running it straight to the battery rather than through the charging port